Hi, I'm Richard Roth and I want to tell you a little bit about your Farmall Cub. Um, specifically I want to talk about uh, the electrical uh, system here since that's probably going to be the most uh, new to most folks. So we have the batteries uh, cables coming in here and it's a 48 volt system and negative and positive uh, systems and it comes through here uh, the positive goes into a fuse uh, here and then goes to the uh, switch which is controlled by your, your ignition switch uh, the bottom is the hot side and the top is is uh, the downside of the switch so um, we've got it coming in this way um, and into your uh, controller box now uh, the gauges are in in the lid here there's the amp meter and the uh, battery level indicator here. And they run, <clears throat> uh, this runs through a fuse here. This one runs through a fuse over here. This one here. So this is running over your um, uh, I forget what they call it, but it, it measures the amperage that you're pulling. So, um, you know, it runs back to the gauge here. And the fuses, I, I like these little glass fuses, uh, just because it makes it very plain what comes in and what goes out. You can see everything and follow it. Um, we've got two over here and two over here. <coughs> Um, these wires are um, your go to the uh, reducer for running the linear actuators and any 12 volt uh, system that you want to uh, add to the tractor whether it's lights or, or any other thing that's 12 volt um, this is the unit that does that it's reducer and this should be in part of the manual. So you, you know, look at that. Here's our linear actuator for raising and lowering your toolbar. So anyway, the I attached uh, this to the downside of the switch. So the switch has to be on to run the linear actuators or any of the 12 volt system at this point. So it comes off here, the negative side of your controller and the uh, down side of the switch, uh, which is the, the top connection here, and that runs down here, the wire's here. So you're, you're bringing in your 48 volt here, and your 12 volt is coming out here. And so, the, so this one wire goes to your switch here for raising and lowering your uh, toolbar. Now, one of the features that we added was this slide here. So anytime your switch is on, you've got a, a, warning, a hazard light on to let you know that you've got your switch engaged. Now, one of the nice things about um, how the system's set up is that um, with... Um, You can't, uh, here's the throttle, and if the throttle's up, and you turn on the, the ignition switch, nothing's going to happen. You have to bring your throttle all the way back before, then when you engage it, it will. So this is in neutral right now.
And you can see on the, the gauges here, so the red, it's fully charged uh, batteries. And here's your amp as I go up, should start pulling amps. Now we like these throttles, these are the uh, cable craft uh, throttle control, uh, like those, and those will be part of the manual. Um, and uh, here under the seat is your charger, and this charger will take both 12 or um, 120 or 110 and 220 uh, charges, so you can charge it about 40% faster um, with uh, 220. Um, and it just plugs into the regular three prong plug. Either way, it'll automatically uh, adjust uh, the charge to how you have it plugged in. The indicator is this little button up here. It's a little bit hard to see uh, in, in sunlight what the charge is doing. Uh, but this little light goes from red to green once it's 100% charged. 